Okay, so there are three different equations, formats for an equation. The first one is standard form. The second one is slope intercept. And the third is point slope. That's what we're going to talk about today. So standard form is AX plus BY equals C. Let me go ahead and rewrite that. Hold on one second. All right, so standard form is AX plus BY equals C. Remember, for standard form, you have to have all whole numbers. And A is positive. So that's standard form. So what you have to remember for standard form is that X and Y have to be together on the left. So when I zoom in on this one here, let me zoom in. This negative three, this three sevens X, I need to move it over. And when I move it over, it becomes negative. So I have negative three over seven X plus one Y equals two. So that's the first step, get your X and Y on the same side. But now we need to cancel out the fraction and make A positive. So we're gonna multiply this entire thing by what? What do you think I'm multiplying it by? Seven, good, but because it's negative, I have to multiply it by a negative seven. So multiply everything by negative seven. So pick up your calculators. Multiply all three by a negative seven. And that is standard form. So the first step was to subtract. So we started by subtracting the 3 sevenths x. And then we had to multiply it by negative seven. All right, so go ahead, pick up your calculators and multiply all three numbers by negative seven. So you're taking negative seven times negative three over seven. There's a calculator here, there's one there for you. So negative three over seven times negative seven, negative seven times one and negative seven times two. And Daniel, if you need a calculator, it's one behind you. Da oh, Daniel, there's a calculator behind you if you need a calculator. So what did you get for the number in front of X? What's negative seven times negative three over seven? Positive three, so you got three X. And then negative seven times one is negative seven Y equals negative 14. Who had that for their equation? And that's it. So what you have to ask yourself is, do you have all whole numbers and is A positive? And as long as you have all whole numbers and A is positive, then it is in standard form. So this is my answer. All right, so let's go ahead and look at number, the second one here. So my first step is to move over the 9X. So I have to move this 9x over. So when I move it over, I have to subtract it. I'm subtracting 9x. So when I move it over, it becomes a negative 9x plus y equals negative 4. So is that standard form? Do we have all whole numbers? 
Is A positive though? No. So what do I have to multiply the entire equation by? What can I multiply by a negative nine to get a positive nine? Negative one. So multiply this equation by negative one. You have to multiply everything by negative one in order to make A positive. So that gives you 9x minus 1y equals 4. And now that's standard form. All right, so the last format we're going to talk about is point slope. So let's, in your note packet, I'm not sure what page this is. Can you guys tell me what page is point slope? Anybody find the page? What is it? 12. Go to page 12, y'all. The note packet. That's the study guide. The note packet is, it should say module nine. That says module eight. <laughs> huh? You do have a nine. We've been in nine for like three weeks. <laughs> okay. So we all there? Page 12? All right. So the last format is point slope. So this is point slope. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in real quick. It's in the very top sentence. This is point slope. It's the third way to write an equation. For point slope, we have to substitute in three numbers. We have to substitute in an ordered pair. So this is an ordered pair or a point. And we also have to put in the slope. Okay. So as long as you know those three things, if you know the slope and a point, then you can put an equation in point slope form. So for this first one here, it already did it for us. So this is point slope. It told us that the line passes through the point. So this is my point. So this will be my x1 and y1. And then it also told us that the slope is 11. So that would be m. So all we had to do was substitute into, if you kind of think of this as three boxes, you got to put a number in each one of these boxes. So in the first box, they put y1. In the second box, they put slope. And in the third box, they put x1. And when it says simplify, the only thing we're doing is looking for a double negative because that changes to a positive. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this one together. We have a slope of 4. And then this is my x1. x1 is negative 5. y1 is 7. So we're going to substitute it into the equation. So the equation says y minus y1, which is 7, equals m times 
times x minus x1, which is negative 5. So all we did was substitute in those three numbers. Do we have any double negatives that can simplify? Yep. So does everyone see we have that in the, in the parentheses? So we're going to finish it out by writing it as y minus 7 equals 4 times x plus 5. And that is your final answer. All right, try to do B by yourself. Write the equation in slope intercept. I mean, not slope, sorry. Write the equation in point slope form. Cortez, you should sit up. So my slope is negative one half. What is X one? What is the X value in that order pair? What'd you say? Two. Two. Yep. And then what's the y value in the order pair? Negative eight. So now we're going to substitute it in. Remember, when you're doing point slope, it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So you're basically substituting in these three numbers, a number here, a number here, and a number here. That's all you have to do. So my equation would be y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Does everyone see there? I just substituted in those three numbers. Do you see any double negatives? that can change to a plus. Yep, where is that double negative at? With the Y or with the X? Y. With the Y. So your final answer would be Y plus eight equals negative one half times X minus two. And that is point slope. I think point slope is probably the easiest of the three. Now, let's go to the next page. What if they don't give us the slope? If they don't give us the slope, we have to find the slope. So who remembers this formula? M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Who remembers that formula? A little bit? All right. Let's go ahead and label our points. So this first point, we're going to call this X1, Y1. And the second point is X2, Y2. So M equals, what is Y2? What number is Y2? 13 minus Y1, which is 1, divided by, so we have our, let me go ahead and highlight. These are my Y points, and that's always in the top. And then my X is in my denominator. So I have 13 minus 1 divided by 7 minus 1. So 13 minus 1 is 12. 7 minus 1 is 6. And now what's 12 divided by 6? Not three, two. two, good. So now we know that M equals two. So I'm gonna use this in my point slope. So now we're ready to write our equation. So our equation is Y, I'm gonna write it again. 
So we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we figured out that m is 2. Go back up here. What is my x1? x1 is 1 and y1 is 1. So let's go ahead and type and substitute them in. So my equation would be y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus 1. And that is my final equation. All right, now let's go ahead and look at uh, the next one here. We're going to find our slope. So for the second one, go ahead and find, find your slope. So let's go ahead and label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. So m equals, go ahead and substitute it in and find your slope. Everybody find your slope. Substitute in the numbers and try to find your slope. Okay, who got negative one for our slope? Can we all sit up for a second? We only got two more questions. Who got negative one for the slope? All right, let's go ahead and go through it. So we, we have zero minus five, so zero minus five, divided by negative two minus a negative seven. So it was negative two minus a negative seven. Two negatives become a positive. So negative 2 plus 7 is 5. So now my point slope would be y would be y minus. What is y1? 5 equals your slope times x minus x1. So we substituted in these three numbers. So we substituted in 5 negative one and negative seven. And then we look for a double negative, and that would be y minus five equals negative one times x plus seven. And this is your final answer. All right, try to do B by yourself. I'm gonna come around and check. 
So your first step is going to be to find your slope. Go ahead and find your slope, x1, y1, x2, y2. So go ahead and find slope. So I think you get a fraction. I think you get like nine over five. Who got nine over five? Now that we have nine over five, and we can go over that. So we have our slope. M equals three minus negative six over one minus negative four. When you have two negatives, it changes to a positive. Which is why we get nine over five. So my equation is y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. And again, whenever you see two negatives, we change it to a plus. And this would be your final answer. All right, use this time to finish out homework three. Homework three is due tomorrow and start on your study guide. So everybody can use 25 bonus points. So looking at your review, your test is on Thursday. If you've already finished homework three, raise your hand and I'll give you your points. But I would probably use this time to make sure we're getting some extra credit tomorrow. So everything on the study guide is what's on the test. And I'll post the answer key tomorrow.